Summer uh, was six years younger than me. Uh, she was the third in line, I guess. There's myself, my brother, who's two years younger, and then Summer was, was four years after my, other, my younger brother. Um, so she grew up with two boys and two brothers, and we made her a tomboy. She shooed horses for a living. She's very tough, very strong. She could buck hay like no other. Um, she loved life. Uh, she really loved my mom. They were best friends. They did everything together. So I called my mom and I said, I said, yeah, that no, no one's there. And she goes, well, she's not answering her phone, Dan. It's just going right to voicemail. Something's wrong. And I said, and I got a little irritated. And I said, well, what, what do you want me to do? And she goes, go find your sister. And those, those words resonated with me the entire time. Like, I got to find her. I got to get her. I broke down for about 30 seconds, and then I said, I said and my oldest son, who was 16 at the time, grabs my hand and goes, we, we got this. And it took us three hours to walk a half a mile. We are sinking up in the mud, up to our chest. Sister's best friend, who had actually gone in that day too and had her and her husband had busted down the gates on the back road. She called me and she goes, hey, we're in here and uh, we think we found Summer's car. Grab my son and Riley and I said, are you ready for this? And he grabs me back and he starts crying and he goes, dad, I've been ready for five days. Let's go get her. As soon as I saw her face and stuff, I knew, I knew it's where I had to be. It meant everything to me that that I was there for that for that recovery. And they have this plaza where people can go in and read about each of that component and then do a serenity trail where there's 43 benches representing each one of the victims. To me, that tells Summer's story. That's her legacy. Her legacy lives on now. The Ruthvens, their legacy lives on now. Tim Ward's legacy lives on now because now it's symbolized in an object and there's a story that's told. It's real. It was real life and we were part of that.